Welcome back to Copilot Studio Agent Academy. This is mission 11, publish your agent. My name is Daniel Laskowitz, and I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft. In this mission, we will be covering how to publish your agent, how to add a channel, and how to share your agent to other people in your organization using Microsoft Teams. Let's get started. Publishing your agent is the step that makes it accessible for your users. Once published, people can interact with it and benefit from its capabilities. It's not just about making it available, because you can also publish it to ensure that any updates you make are instantly live across all connected channels so your content stays current. Security is built in. Microsoft Authentication is enabled by default, so your agent uses Microsoft Enter ID for Teams, Power Apps, and Copilot. This means users sign in securely, and you don't have to worry about manual setup for authentication. Before publishing, make sure your agent is fully configured and tested. Once it's live, verify that everything works as expected and that users are getting the right experience. Publishing is the bridge between building your agent and delivering real value to your organization. After publishing your agent, the next step is to connect it to the platforms where your users are. You can add channels like Teams, SharePoint, Facebook, or even mobile apps, depending on where you want your agent to be available. Each channel has its own setup process and requirements. So it's important to follow the specific steps for the platform you choose. For example, connecting to Teams might involve different permissions or configurations compared to Facebook or a website. Also, keep in mind that the user experience can vary by channel. Features like adaptive cards, markdown formatting, and welcome messages might look or behave differently depending on where your agent is running. So it's a good idea to test and optimize your content for each channel to make sure users get the best possible experience wherever they interact with your agent. Once your agent is published and connected to channels, the next step is sharing it with your organization. Start by editing the agent's details, customize its icon, description, and team settings, so it's recognizable and fits your brand. You can set its availability by choosing show to everyone in my org and then submit it for admin approval. This step is important because it ensures your agent can be added by users in your organizations. Administrators will be able to evaluate your agent and when it's ready for broad use, they can approve it. After your agent is approved by an admin, it becomes visible to everyone, and they can install and pin your agent in Teams for easy access. Sharing your agent is about making it discoverable and usable. So take a moment to review its settings and make sure it's set up for success. In this lab, you'll learn why publishing your agent matters, how to add channels, and how to make your agent available in Microsoft Teams for your whole organization. Before starting this mission, make sure you have completed all the earlier steps. It's also helpful to have administrator rights, since you may need approval to submit your app. Here we are in the Contoso Helpdesk agent. We are now going to publish our agent by clicking on the Publish button. When you do that, the Publish This Agent pop-up will appear, and here you can click Publish. When you do that, the agent will get published, and you can close the window if you don't want to wait. Now we want to add a channel to our agent. To do that, we click on the plus six in the navigation and then Channels. On this page, we can see the publishing status of our agent. 
and we can see a bunch of channels we can add to our agent. We can, for instance, see the demo website, Microsoft channels, and even other channels that we might want to add to our agent. In this case, we are going to click on Teams and Microsoft 365 Copilot. On the bottom right, you can see that we can add the channel. But first, I want to highlight the checkbox for making the agent available in Microsoft 365 Copilot. If you don't want that, you can disable that here by unchecking the checkbox. Select Add Channel to add the channel to the agent. When the channel is added, you will see the green message the channel was added at the top of the screen. Select Edit Details to modify the details for the agent. You can change the color, the icon, update descriptions, or change other options. But for now, we are going to leave this as default. Let's look into the availability options now. Here you have the option to copy the link and share it with a colleague. Download the agents as a zip file and add it to Microsoft Teams manually, or you can show it in the store. You can do that by showing it to your teammates and shared users, or you can show it to everyone in your organization. Let's pick the last option for now. Here you can submit the agent as a Teams app by selecting the Submit for Admin Approval button. This will let your admin decide whether or not the app should be available for the whole organization or not. For this, you need to make sure everybody gets access to this agent, so make sure to select Yes. After a little while, the request should be completed successfully, and your admin is in play now to approve the app. As you can see, it says now waiting for approval. So we have to wait for the admin to approve this app. Let's go back and do our final step. We want to, of course, also see if our app is working in Teams. And for that, we can select See Agent in Teams. When you click on that, it will open a new tab. It will ask you to open in the Teams desktop client, but I don't want that. So I'm going to click cancel and I'm going to use the web app instead. Here, the Contoso help desk agent app will open up and I can click add to add this to my Teams. Select open to open the app in Teams and here you can see the conversation starters. The next step is only for the people who have admin rights. If you are lucky enough to have those, you can open the Teams Admin Center and approve the agent we just published. To do this, you can go to Manage Apps under Teams Apps. Next, you can search for Contoso to find the app for our agent. Select the Contoso Help Desk Agent to open the app. Select Publish. And then confirm by selecting Publish to publish the app. The agent can now be added by everyone in the organization. And that wraps up Mission 11 of Copilot Studio Agent Academy. We'll see you in the next mission.